So welcome everybody. Welcome to um, June Energy Play Shop. This is Energy Play Shop number 48. So we're going to jump right into talking about the real eye. So let's do that. Hang on, let me find the... Okay, so this is my presentation. So, okay, so the real eye, location of the real eye. So, uh, okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a spelling mistake there. So it is located at the soft spot that is at the intersection of the middle of your hairline. So, so imagine this perpendicular, um, this vertical line is, is the middle of your hairline. And then this horizontal line is the line that is between your temple or left and right temple. And that the intersection of that, that is where your real eye is located. Okay. No, got, got you. Okay. So zero point where is the zero point so this is the diagram for the zero point so physical location of your zero point so this is your sternum so at the tip of your sternum just one finger width above the tip of your sternum that is the physical location of the zero point so it is inside your body and right around there. That's the physical location of the zero point. Everybody got that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. So it's, it's a little uh, it's a little noisy out there, sorry. So okay, so the point. <laughs> there's so much noise outside so so anyway so why do i want to talk about the zero point and that's because um the zero point is where we have access to source to who we are beyond space time to the highest vibration version of ourselves that's where the zero point can give us access to. Because all of us, we are connected to source. We are physically connected to, to um, source from that physical location within our body. So our, our energy field is around our body. And there are different points within our body where the physical body and the soul, which is our spirit, um, like they, they have to, they have to uh, interact with each other. So one of the places within our body that interacts with the, with the, the soul, the zero point actually gives us access to the highest frequency version of our soul. So that is an important access. And um, most of the time we, I would say most people, which is more than, more than half of the people um, that's living right now, really don't care much about you know, connecting to the soul. They, there is so much in life to um, distract ourselves. So many things that we can put our attention to, towards. And that's by design, because we are here, we, are, um, we have a physical body so that we can experience. However, at some point, um, when we get to a point where um, our soul has developed to a certain um, point, we actually want to have a deeper connection with 
parts of ourselves, with the divine parts of ourselves. That is when we, um, one of the ways that we can, we can go to connect with the highest frequency version of ourselves, of our spirit, and that is zero point. And that's what um, meditation that is activating a zero point can get us. And why do I also introduce the, the, the real eye? The real eye, it's like our third eye. Um, where does it get, uh, where does the third eye get the energy? The third eye is still getting energy from our brain. So even though it can get information from outside as well, however, it's still being interpreted by our brain. So depending on how disciplined we are in our mental um, clarity, we may misinterpret things when we receive information through our third eye. However, the real eye is get, gets the energy from the zero point. So when we start to open our real eye, we actually can see, um, we can interpret the information coming in through the highest um, part, highest frequency part of our soul. So the information that is coming in will not be distorted as with the information coming in through our brain maybe. So that's why it is important to activate the, the, the real eye because of the quality of the information that we can get from the real eye. So what's an eye? An eye is to receive information just like all of our other senses is to receive information. It's just that our physical senses, our five physical senses, receive um, information, it goes through our brain. And the, the, the third eye as well, it receives energy that is subtle energy. However, it still requires our brain to interpret. So that's why there's still room for distortion. So that's the importance of um, meditating and connecting with the zero point, meditating and connecting with our true self or the highest frequency version mm -hmm. of our soul. And it is also um, important to start to develop our real eye so that we can receive information that has not been distorted. So, so far so good. Any, uh, any questions? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, the zero, the, the, the zero point also because it it is the the highest frequent it gives you access to the highest frequency version of yourself so you can get pretty much any information that you want because the highest frequency version of yourself is really um in other words the creator because we all create ourselves. We create this, this version of ourselves. We create this version for ourselves to experience and to, to train. And so your, the zero point actually gives you access to all information in the universe. When you really develop and open the, the zero point um, portal to the extent that you can start to get more information and be able to interpret that 
information through your real eye so that it won't be distorted by your ego or any other mis misunderstanding. So let's see. So next thing is, so how do we, uh, what's, what's, what are some of the important things to, to do to um, open the zero point and also to activate the real eye? This is kind of the uh, the procedure. So all of this is really just an example of how you can um, start to activate your zero point and start to activate your real eye. So there are a few things that is important to understand is you have to be relaxed. Your body have to be relaxed. If you are anxious, then um, it's not easy to activate or not easy to um, communicate with your zero point or to use your real eye, as, especially when you're starting out. So definitely make sure your body is relaxed. So um, there are a few things that we already know how to relax our body. Remember when we massage our temple, then we start to relax our body. And if we push up, we also relax our body as well. So when we push up, we relax the front of our body. You can feel the front of your body starting to relax. And also if you um, push up, you push your, so if you put a finger in your belly button and you push up, it relaxes the back of your body. So when you do that, you, you really feel that the back of your body, your, your shoulder area, all that, your backside start to relax as well. So those are the things that you can do to start to relax your body. Um, and then make sure that you, the central meridian, the central meridian, meaning the <clears throat> there's a column of energy that goes in the middle of your head. So that central meridian, it starts from eight inches above your head all the way down to four inches below your perineum. So that is a central meridian, that prana tube that runs through your body. That, that central meridian is running strong. So you can actually feel that there is an energy that flows through your body. It is that energy that takes the zero point and take it up to the real eye. So central meridian has to be activated. Kundalini also activated as well. And also make sure that you are balanced. So you, you feel balanced. Your body feel balanced. So how to balance the body? You activate the elements. So holy fire, activate holy earth, metal, water, wood. So those. So do those. And then make sure that all the elements are activated and balanced. And then you... Also, um, make sure that your emotions, emotionally, you are balanced as well. So that means you um, do the chakras, so CK6 and EC6. When you merge them, you make sure that the energy center number six is on top. EC6 is on top. That's when you feel more logical and less emotional. So when you activate that, then activate the zero point and the real eye as well. So that's kind of the that's kind of um, the process to activate zero point. 
So a few things which is really important. Um, body is relaxed and your mind is calm. You're not emotional, your mind is calm. And then your energy is running strong within yourself. And when you have that and you feel balanced, And then when you have that, then just activate the zero point and activate your real eye as well. So when you activate the real eye is, and really just to um, look, have your eyes look in front and kind of cross eye, meaning that you, it was so, like imagine that you are looking at your own finger, maybe just a, a few inches in front of your face so that you are just focusing on a, uh, a point of view that is a few inches in front of your eyes. So then that's the cross eye. And... Um, also, it's easier to um, easier for the real eyes to actually close your eyes because then you won't be dis you won't be distracted by you know, what you see outside. So have your eyes look in front and then close it. Then you know you know that um, the eye position and you won't get disturbed by what's outside. So questions, comments so far before we begin the meditation? No R is good? Okay, let's meditate then. So I'm gonna 